Hey guys, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video, I'm going to show you the tool that I use to build backlinks to websites. So yesterday I made a video about this exact website where I, where I showed you how to build multi-location uh, local business schema for this website. So this website is a tree service website and you can find the video here on my channel. And if I wanted to build backlinks to this website, there is one tool that I use each and every time. So this is one of the methods that I'm going to show you. It's a method that I use for all of the websites that I build backlinks to. And that tool is a tool called Mangoose. So Mangoose is a paid service and you can go to mangoose.com and click on pricing here. And you can check out their prices annual monthly. I'm currently on the agency plan, which allows me to inspect what is it? I think it's uh, 150 sites per day. <clears throat> and I use almost all of these 150 site lookups per day. Because what makes this tool extremely special is that you can find and see the backlink uh, profile on your competition directly in the web browser. So uh, let's just get started. This Ace Tree service, they have these locations, Huntsville, Birmingham, Hoover, Vestavia, Homewood, Trustville. Tuscaloosa, Auburn, and Montgomery. So let's say that I'm going to build backlinks. So because I want to rank higher in Google for tree service in Huntsville, Alabama. So what I would start out with doing is I would search for tree service Huntsville, and then I would scroll down, and uh, then I can start to see the competition here ranking here. So I can see J and C Tree Experts .com, Yelp, Old Town Tree. And then uh, the Google Maps here. And then I can see uh, the website that we are, we are trying to help. Tree Service Huntsville, Boom, Tree Service Hunts, uh, Tree Service LLC, and so on and so forth. So what I would start out by doing is I would select one of these websites. We'll click on this guy here, Dude. Tree Service Huntsville. And this is now open. Let me just close these tabs here. Dude, dude, and dude. So <clears throat> what I would do now is I would click on this orange bubble up here because I installed the Mangools plugin, Chrome plugin, which allows me to, when I click on this guy here, I can then directly see the domain authority, page authority, citation flow, and trust flow. So I know that many of you use swear to Ahrefs and that's perfectly fine. I also use Ahrefs. It's just that I find in my daily line of work when I'm building backlinks and I'm in you know, inspecting the competition's uh, backlink profiles. I just find it easier just to use this plugin because I, I can simply click on this guy up here, dude, and then I can di directly see the domain authority of this guy here, and I can go back to my own website and, can, and I can click again. I, I can see the domain authority of my own website, so I can start to compare directly in the browser what, what level of power do I have so I also use Ahrefs, but for this video, I'm going to show you the Mangools, and this is the domain authority and not the domain rating that Ahrefs is using. So, um, but yeah, so I'm clicking on this guy here, and what I can uh, see here is that I have these options up here. So keywords, backlinks, on-page SEO, rank tracking, and I can click on backlinks. And this is where the magic happens because directly in the browser, I can now see, now see all of the backlinks that is pointing to this domain. Furthermore, I can even see the data or the uh, backlinks pointing to this URL. So all of these backlinks are pointing to this, this is of course the homepage. And if it's one of the sub pages, I can directly see all of the links in the browser pointing to this sub page. And this makes it so much easier for me and so much faster, faster for me to gauge, to weigh how many links have they built, how strong are the links, is it possible to get them, and so on and so forth. So what I do now is I click on see all backlinks. You can see down here, dude. And then a new tab will be open. <coughs> and what I'm seeing now is the complete report of all the backlinks pointing to this domain. So what I can do now is I can now filter up here do I want to see do follow? Do I want to see no follow? Or do I want to see all of the links? Do I want to see the active links? Or do I also want to see the, the, the deleted links? 
So uh, for this guy, I would probably just uh, prefer to see the active links and I would probably also prefer just to see the do follow links. Because although that uh, no follow links also have some sort of uh, you know, impact on your website's rankings, we know that the do follow links, they carry more weight when it comes to pushing the rankings for higher. So uh, what I would do now is I would simply scroll down, just take a look here, and then I could simply do like this. Start out by clicking the top 20 websites here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm simply clicking the, uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's start, probably start with 15, 16, something like that. I think this is more than enough. So now I have uh, opened all of these websites up here in the browser. And now I can take a look at all of these websites one after one after one. And the power of this method is that I can see directly what, uh, what link building strategy have these guys used. And what do I need to do in order to combat these guys? And this method can be used for local SEO. It can be used for national SEO. It can be used for your blog articles, articles. it can use, be used for your affiliate websites, it can be used for your web shop, it can be used for all sorts of websites that you want to rank. So when I'm clicking here, I can see something that looks like a PVN. Uh, it definitely looks like a PVN. And this also looks like a PVN. You can see that the white will move a tree and uh, then uh, they have and see, so that's a link back to itself. Uh, do, 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 do. So that's also a PVN. And uh, so this also uh, looks like a PVN. And this also looks like a PVN. So uh, they even look identical. This one, this one, and this one. Home contact privacy policy. Home contact privacy policy. Home contact privacy policy. So what I'm, what I'm seeing here is a very clear pattern that this website seems to be using PVNs, or at least if it's not PVNs, it's at least, how should I put it, blogging websites that are built with the purpose of building informational articles that have links. And uh, let's see, the next site is uh, pornpantown.com. And uh, so what is that? Okay, so okay, so that's a blog comment. So you can simply type out something here, down here, and uh, then you can uh, make a comment and put a link back to your website. So you can build that. And what's that? That's probably also some sort of comment. Yes, I see. And then we have so this is also a discussion forum where they place the comments. And what is this? Probably. This actually seems like a legit website. Let's see here. So could be PBN, I don't know, but it looks like a legit website. And uh, okay, yeah. Let's quickly close that one. Uh, and what is this? That's some sort of uh, PBN or block comment also. Yeah, so, <clears throat> okay, so you get the picture. So what I can see now for this particular website is that they are using PVN websites. So they're using some sort of informational website where they're placing blog articles with an outgoing to follow link back to their homepage. And that's one part of their link building strategy. Another part of their link building strategy is that using, they're using these blog comments to rank. So, and it's very easy. You can also just, you know, I'm just showing you how to do it. You can just go to this blog website and then place a comment also. It's not something that I'd recommend you do, but I can see that they're doing and they are ranking. So, uh, and then we have this guy here. Uh, what's that? That's also some sort of PVN site. So what I noticed is that uh, I, I did take a look at this website before I started this video. So what I noticed is that for many of these websites that they placed articles on, there is actually a contact form and you can actually reach out to the website owner to ask, can I place my website on this website also? So many of these websites will have a contact form and then you can try to arrange a price, you know, place an article on this website if that's uh, something that you would like to experiment with. And um, yeah, and so it's, it's very clear that uh, their, <coughs> their strategy is working because uh, they are ranking in 
I mean, we know now that Google is, uh, whether you like it to, to admit, admit it or not, I think it's a little bit broken now, Google, because what we're seeing up here is websites to comparison of places you can't understand because it's in Danish. So this, these are the comparisons. So it's Yelp, Facebook, Craigslist, and Yellow Pages. Then we see the maps. And uh, down, all the way down here, we see the, uh, the, um, the, the organic results. And then we see more maps. And then we see organic results here. So Google seems to be putting more and more emphasis on other things that displaying organic results. But still, <coughs> that's make it, that makes it even more, even, even, even more important to rank in the top three in the organic search results. Because you can see here, one, two, three. And then you have here four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so forth. So it's even more important than ever to rank in the uh, top three. And um, yeah, so this is just a short video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, take care.